Hey, what's up guys? Matt out here with another video. So, in today's video, I just want to go over the easier or more simplified way to get your Liberate weapons, or whatever they're called now in a... Um, just some tips and how you can get those weapons faster, uh, what you'll need to get those weapons. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So, before I get into um, obtaining your Liberate weapons, of course, if you've noticed, we have quite a few weapons to still get in this game. So we have the carbine, since I'm just on rifles, so they're going to be different named on uh, different weapons. But yeah, we have quite a bit of other weapons to get, so that's actually really fun. For example, those modules down at the bottom will come from just those bosses. So Varuna, Mitra, and that big giant Lumina Mech that we haven't seen yet on NA. But... It's a lot of interesting stuff, and of course the Light Weaver weapons are from Primordial Darkness, all that good stuff. So, anyway, back to what we were talking about. So, I've seen very few people with the Liberate weapons because they're a little, I wouldn't say difficult. They're not as difficult as these. I mean, if you can get lucky to get a Celestial weapon to drop and then just turn it to live stream, then you're set because that weapon just needs X cubes, the weapon itself, and a stone. But, of course, a stone is hard enough to get. But for Liberate weapons, of course, the novel weapon of your choice is easier to get. You just need 100 badges, plus to get it to 35, you just get the same weapon to grind it up. The Liberate locker, unlocker, you should already have. Um, mission pass 30, or yeah. 30 or 25, I think it's 25, is where you'll get it. So just make sure you complete that. You don't need the mission pass gold to get it. You can just get it outright. Now, the die yards, they're easy enough to get. You can either just break down 14 star weapons or you can buy them. Um, I bought 10 for like maybe 130, 140k. So it wasn't as bad. The plam dust is going to be different for weapons. So the plam dust is a ranged material, so it'll be something totally different if you're going for like sword or katana or something like that. Um, they use the sword and katana will use the same type. I don't know the name of it, but yeah, you just need 500 of those, so yeah, that shouldn't be too bad. Just break down, I believe, six to five star weapons, and you'll get them. Or of course, you can buy them, but it'll be a little expensive since you're buying 500. Um, X cubes, you should have no problem getting the regular X cubes. You should have a lot. The only problem I foresee is getting the class X cubes and the ultimate boosters. So, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and switch over real quick just to show you a couple of missions you can do to get the X cubes a little bit faster. So, be right back. Now, there are various ways to get in your class X cubes of course the simplest one would be just to level up but of course um, that needs about 15 million experience points so if you've been grinding for experience points for a long long time you can get upwards to 10 every time you level um, the simplest way I would see but of course it's capped per day will be just to do the sh the area survey just fight Omega masquerade on a high level and he will drop Excuse of your class pretty steadily but of course we only get 10 suppressions a day so as long as you're doing those daily you don't have to do a new floor every single time you can do you know x amount of floors or the same floor you, you will see to your ability you can just spam it over and over until you're done for the day and then the next day you can wait and after you've met your suppressions you could just you know level up and stuff like that um it's not the best way, especially if you can't really beat this quest. Um, a lot of people don't bother with this because it may be too hard for them. But for others, it'll be no, it'll be no biggie. Like for me, I'm on floor like 57 or 58 right now, so I've been doing them daily, every single day I log in, and just I can get a good, nice handful of X cubes like that. As for ultimate boosters. We haven't been getting a lot of them, but you can get them through the new Christmas Urgent Quest, and you can actually get a drop from the Corruption Surveys. But I did one yesterday for about two and a half hours and got two. So, yeah, 
just being a little stingy so you just got to keep at it when you see the christmas eq come up make sure you do it if you see pretty much almost any eq really um i've gotten some from doing the armado the armado one i've gotten maybe one or two never a lot but they will drop from ultra hard stuff so just do that you can also do the free exploration oh yeah the sword art online collaboration is going i may have to check that out in a little bit i don't know if i should make a video on it but i just got disturbed with a cutscene between asana and stuff so i may make a video on that but anyway um the free fields i believe you can get these from the ultra explorations so make sure you do these two while people are still doing them because as more content comes out probably people won't be doing this anymore but hopefully this video helps a little bit in how to get some of these materials because I've noticed just very few people have been getting them but of course those are the people who are logging in every single day and playing for like hours and hours and just getting the materials getting lucky so anyway I do have maybe one or two more videos before I'm done with 2020 and my final video on 2020 uh, I'm just gonna go over some channel changes and some new games I'm going to be playing since it was suggested by the community when I left my poll so if you guys want to still check out that community poll it's still there on uh, playing Super Mario Maker 2 level so I'll go over that in another video this one's just for PSO2 so hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time guys peace